everyone and welcome back to Calabunga Corner Reviews. In this episode, I am reviewing this awesome patrol buggy with Racer Leonardo, as well as the Shredder and the Foot Soldier over here, from the Half Shell Heroes Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Toys, brought to you by Playmates and uh, designed after the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series. These are some of the awesome 2014 toys I recommend for fans young and old. So far I've enjoyed most of the sets that have came out and think that this is an awesome new series for fans to enjoy with collecting toys. It's time to open them up. Getting Leonardo out of package is much easier than trying to get the individuals out of package mainly because they have just an easier breakdown of getting him out right now leo's already out and half of his ride is all i need to do is go in there and cut one more tie and voila he's free those guys on the other hand they're going to turn around and give me a headache just trying to get them out of package but they are the foot so you don't expect them to be easy characters to work with in the first place it does come with its little booklet inside there, though we're not going to bother pulling that out. Do you want to see what it has? Check out the Michelangelo review with his uh, awesome diving gear, and it shows the back of the boxes and the booklets. We're going to pull Shredder and the Foot out of package before we get into our reviews and comparisons of these characters. If you are getting into these toys for the first time and want some advice on cutting it, go into the back, go underneath the cardboard with the razor knife, and then pull up, and it does actually work faster than trying to go above the cardboard. And it shoots the cardboard across the room of wherever you may be. At least it gets the characters out of there without having to worry too much about time. And we have Shredder, Leonardo, and a foot soldier. And then we have the new vehicle that goes with Leonardo. Oh, of course, Leo would normally be riding front. And with it, you press this and it moves the wheels on the back. The back piece is a ride all of its own, so if you want a character standing up on back, working with Leo and protection against the bad guys, it is its own vehicle. It's its own Segway. Any turtle fan that does not know why Segway should get a nice little laugh, Read Mirage Volume 4 and realize uh, Peter Laird loves the Segway and he, he, he does talk about it quite a bit in the back of the Volume 4 Turtle comics. So <laughs> it's nice that Leonardo comes with a Segway. Donatello should have because that's Peter's favorite turtle. Articulation is the same areas as most of the Half Shell heroes. You got the legs, the shoulders, and the head. And Leonardo looks pretty cool. And he has his helmet with the skull on it, which is based off of a helmet he actually wears in the cartoon series. We have a foot soldier with a sword. Same articulation, legs, shoulders, and head. And we got Shredder, whose cape is attached to his head. So when you turn that, it does not have much movement of the head. He's got his shoulders and he's got his legs. He still looks pretty cool. He still, it looks like Shredder. He is a character to be feared and hated by the turtles, but not as feared as what little kids could see the, the bigger toys looking like. This is the original Shredder toy that came out. I wasn't too pleased with it. He does not have bending knees. He just had this very stiff look to him. And then they came out with my favorite Shredder so far, which remains my favorite Shredder. And this Shredder has the removable helmet. He has the bending knees. But then he doesn't have the elbows. Why can't a Shredder be as articulate as one of the turtles? But at least this Shredder here is just as articulate as the turtles are inside the series. Uh, his hands are closed in the fist to where you could slide things in but they're not as close as the turtles. They're stuck in the position that you see there. That's Shredder's counterparts there. And now for the foot soldier. Bigger foot soldier, more detail to him because that the figure line he's from. But the little foot soldier does great for the line he's with and has plenty of detail. Even his strap across his chest is painted. It's not like they just threw it together just to have a ninja. They actually did put some thought and some color into them. These are for the younger kids. They're very enjoyable half shell hero type toys. I do love the eyes on it. They, they're kind of buggy eyes. They just kind of stick out like, yeah, I'm a foot ninja. And now for Leonardo. 
out of the the triple figures being with their other selves he is the most look-alike of his selves i'm not sure if it's the same sculpt or not i don't think it is Honestly, he's a lot like his original sculpt here. They could have changed the face just a little bit, give us a serious Leo and a happy Leo, but we got two very happy Leonardos ready for action. That surprised me. But if we want an angry Leonardo, we can easily go to the actual size action figure Leo, who looks pissed off at the world, like he's got a beef to pick with some people. There's a, there's a Leo with the Leos. The sets that I opened up today are fantastic sets, especially actually getting some of the, the main villains in with the Half Shell Hero toys now. We can actually see some more positions where the Turtles will be using their weapons against them and these awesome new vehicles. I like the vehicles. I, I think that this is a pretty neat little feature for the Turtle fans to enjoy. I highly recommend them. Uh, it, it, when do I not? Oh, April and Splinter. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I recommend these for Turtle fans, and I think that a lot of people can enjoy them. I hope to see everyone back here on Cowabunga Corner as we have a lot more Turtle toys from the original action figure lines to the Heroes in a Half Shell to games and so, so much more to share with you guys. We'll catch you next time here on Cowabunga Corner.